we see a tarantula in its natural habitat. The tarantula has eight eyes and is a little creepy. Look at those fangs and eight legs. Well, howdy there, goofballs, and welcome to episode 431 of Animal Crossing New Horizons. In the last episode, we finished off the main storyline of Happy Home Paradise, and in this episode, we'll be doing some more Happy Home Paradise stuff, because, uh, I'm not even close to being done with this Happy Home Paradise stuff, because I really love designing people's homes. Anyway, let's start and get our island-wide bro Feeny from is a bell. Isabel, it's time for you to give me an island-wide bro Feeny. Hello there, everyone! Right now on Jacktown, it's 6.43 p.m. on Monday, February 21st, 2022. You bet your bottom butt it is. The most fashionable of the Able Sisters, Label, is visiting us on Jacktown today. That's offensive to the other Able Sorry, Sisters. Sorry, Sable and Mabel. And she's not even that good with fashion. <laughs> she says she needs volunteers to help with some research. If you have time, please visit her in the plaza. Oh, I don't. That's all for now. I hope you all enjoy the loveliest of lovely days. Yeah. This is a pretty lovely day, isn't it? <laughs> Nook shopping time. Nook shopping time. Guess what? It's Nook... Wait a second. My phone is ringing. What? What does this mean? Hello, Jack? Yes? This is Tom Nook. I just got off the phone with Lottie. It sounds like that big music festival Paradise Planning sponsored went off without a hitch, hmm? Yes? I'm so happy for everyone there. Of course, I was rooting for all of you all the way. Yes, yes? Okay. Oh, and she also said that you, in particular, were invaluable in getting it off the ground. Well done. Okay. Anyhow, I have a bold idea I'd like to run past an established professional designer like yourself. Okay, let me guess. You're going to force me to come here. It's easier to explain face-to-face, -face, though. Do you think you could stop by resident services? One second. I'm kind of busy. One second. Whenever you have time, that is. Yes! I know you're busy because you just told me. <laughs> yes, yes? Good. So she's, he's not going to just pull me here. So I can still look at Nook Shopping. Let's look at Nook Shoparama. KK Stroll already have it, blah blah blah. Nothing interesting. Anyway, mail time, mail time. What you gonna do? It's mail time. We got something from Red and Peaches. Red, we don't need to open, it's irrelevant, and Peaches is relevant, so let's open it. Dear Biscuit, one of my favorite things to do is to relax at home and sip a nice hot beverage. I thought I might send something to help you do the same. Now your home can feel like a cafe. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Drink up, peaches. Yeah, she calls me Biscuit now. I forgot to mention that. That happened off screen. Anyway, mug. Yep, that certainly will help me with drinking stuff. Why, is there anything? Whoa! It's, it's beautiful. It's a pot that you can put stuff in and then beat it up with the hammer. I need this. Wait. Hmm, it's not what I thought it was. Oh, well, I'll, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll just buy one. Anyway, other than that, there's nothing interesting. Right, nookity nook 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 nook. I'm here. Hello, hello. Thank you so much for coming, Jack. You're welcome. The reason I called earlier is that I had an idea I wanted to run by you regarding everyone's homes. Okay. Perhaps it's because I've been dropping hints here and there, but... Word of what you've been doing for Paradise Planning has spread, and it started everyone talking. I think I know where this is going to go, because I heard about this in the, uh, trailer. I've received inquiries from folks who would like you to remodel their homes. Quite a few, in fact. Okay. With that in mind, 
I'd like to begin offering a home design consulting service here. Okay. What this means for you is that whenever you have an idea for remodeling a resident's home, okay. give those ideas to me here, and Nook Inc. will work with the resident to make it all a reality, and I will rake in the dough. <laughs> of course, there will be a fee to get the ball rolling, but I'll give you some miles for each design we finish. Okay. What's Everyone the fee? Everyone on the island is eager to have you work on their homes, so there's no need to be shy. Whenever you have an idea for someone's home, I'll be here to coordinate everything. To sum up, whenever you'd like to redecorate or remodel someone's house, tell me, let's talk homes. Okay, wait. This is a win-win. I just want to see what I you... win both. Okay, I didn't notice there were some rusted parts in here. I, I guess I'll take those, and uh, the rest of the stuff I don't need to get out now, because uh, I'm pretty sure that was like mom stuff or whatever. Whatever. This is the construction consultation counter. How can I help you, hmm? Let's talk about homes. Of course, of course. Let's talk about them. We can discuss your own home, or suggest designs to one of our other residents. Which will it be? A resident's home! Oh ho! You'd like to pitch some new home designs to a resident? We can certainly arrange that. I know we can. To get started, I'll need 9,000 bells up front. That's a lot, so I'll give you some miles once the work is done. Okay, uh... What do you say, hmm? Are looks you ready like to brainstorm just the, some just, ideas? Just the, just the right amount. I'll do one! I will collect the money from you and also from them, which is what I mean by a win-win. Fantastic! <laughs> Let's not waste any time. Who would you like to talk to about redesigning their home? Okay, who do we have? So, Peaches, I'm thinking about Peaches, and I'm thinking that she hasn't gotten her own vacation home yet, and I think I want to do the vacation home first, so not her. How about we do an eeny, meeny, miny, mo? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a villager by their toe. If they holler, let him go, eeny, meeny, miny, clay. Okay, I guess clay is going to be the one. Okay. okay. All right. Hmm. I gotta add a lot of dead bodies. Call him over here and get his thoughts on the matter. Right. He's gonna suggest a bunch of dead bodies. I just know it. And that about covers it. What do you think? Are you okay in trusting Jack with your home? I think he will be. Sounds good in my ears. There's no way I'd say no way to someone remodeling my place. Of course. Oh ho, glad to hear it. Your house is in good hands. Leave everything to Jack and me. And by Jack and you, you mean... Jack, but I will collect the money. Yes, yes. That sounds right. Anyway, uh, let's do this. Yes, yes. Now that everyone's on board, I just need to collect <laughs> the 9,000 bell fee. <laughs> what if I didn't we'll have start. it? Oh, we called a Nate. We called Clay. Clay, he already gets all excited. Oh, sorry. Jack will not give me his money. Anyway. Now then, did you want to start with the home's interior or its exterior? Oh, I can do both? Oh, uh, let's start with the exterior. Got it. Then let's have a look at the catalog together, and you can tell me what you think looks best. I kind of like them how they are. Because they're just so then iconic that now. that was a waste of 9,000 bells. It's a ting. Okay, uh... Let's see. Is there anything I could add? The skull... Uh, the skull door plate is good how it is. Let's see. You know what? Wait. This isn't any different from the current... Okay, why can't I change, like, I think it's good how it is, though. Wait a second, do I literally just have to, to fix this problem, boom, and then boom? I don't want to change it. Do I press back? Oh, you don't want to work on the exterior? No, I don't. I like it how it is. Correct. I hear you loud and clear. Don't make any changes to the exterior. Okay, yeah. What about the interior, though? Okay, if I say cancel the plans, you're, you're probably gonna keep the money. All sales are final. I know. Yes, yes? Good thing I wanted to do the interior, then. 
I'd like you to imagine Clay's home. Okay. Let's picture it together. Once it's clear in your mind, I want you to describe all the ideas you have for its interior. Okay. Is this like a therapy session? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, let's see. All right. Let's get down to business. Tell me what you have in mind for Clay's home. Just work through your idea exactly like you would for Lottie, except that I won't pay you, you will pay me. <laughs> there is one limitation, though. We can't change the size of any rooms. Otherwise, anything goes. Can't change the size? If it helps, you can also press in left button to imagine clay in here. Oh, so... Let okay. me know when you're done, or if you'd like to work on remodeling the home's exterior. Okay. Hmm... I wonder what imaginary clay would look like. Okay, imaginary clay, w what's your deal? Are you any different from regular clay, imaginary clay? Uh, no, I am exactly the same, except that I only appear in your imagination, and the other real clay only appears in your dreams. Okay, this seems like the perfect tint for this house. No, no, no. How about like a nice orange one, nice and chill... Uh, we can have it... Hmm, what sound? I think forest is good. Right, let's see what sort of stuff we have. Ooh, so he's suggesting a trilobite for some reason. You know what? This old boring wallpaper and this stuff gotta go. There is some much more better wallpaper we can add to this. And that would still fit his old shtick. Gold screen wall? Oh, that looks pretty nice. I like that. Oh, I like it. Uh, I think I like this. Right, so there's two things that are, like, necessary for all these vacation homes, I feel like. Or not vacation homes, just regular homes. And that is a thingamabob and a doohickey. I mean, uh... One of these, the crafting table, and one kitchen. Because they need one for if they're crafting and for when they're cooking. Ironwood DIY thing and ironwood kitchen. Perfect. Oh, I wish I could make it bigger. This is, like, small. Right, I can get rid of this small kitchen now because, uh... Yeah, uh... You know... Wait. Yeah, because, uh... We have the new big kitchen. And what even is this? We can get rid of this, maybe. Yeah, that makes sense. Move Mr. Dung Face. And can we customize these worky thingies? Let's see. Which one would look best for Clay? Walnuts! I know how Clay loves his walnuts. Don't you, imaginary Clay? I mean, regular Clay. I only like imaginary walnuts. Okay, so, right, here is your dead trilobite body. It can be at the end of your bed, because I know you you love dead bodies. You know what, you don't need such a big bed, do you? It's kind of taking up too much space. Ooh, some lava lamps, those would be cool. Ooh, for sure. And wait, can I add a spooky arch? Would that fit? It doesn't look like that would fit. Oh, well. Wait. Maybe if I do some arranging, it could work? You know what, Imaginary Clay? You gotta get out of here. Uh, Alright, I have imaginary things to do. Yeah, sorry, buddy. It's just, you're kind of in the way. <laughs> you know? You're kind of in the way. Oh, oh, that imaginary clay always getting in my way, or whatever. Hey, you made a rhyme. Okay, yeah, yeah, I did, I did, I totally did make a rhyme, didn't I? So what? It's not like I'm a poet and didn't realize now. Here's Clay's new bed. Dark wood and custom design of Clay's head on the blankets. That just makes sense, right? It's clay, and he likes himself, I think, so he It he's... makes all the sense in the world. Yeah! I know, right? You like snacks? I do like snacks. 
Uh, well, I just saw there are cockroaches and centipedes. We need to add those as, like, the bugs on the floor. Okay. But those aren't good snacks. I know, I wasn't saying those are snacks. I was just saying... <laughs> don't eat those! But, and, and plus, they're just toy toy version, so... Oh, so I can eat them. Thank no, you. No, I'm saying you can't eat them or you'll probably choke and die. So, but I'm just saying, I saw those and I didn't want to forget about them. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, where are the snacks? So, we need, uh, a blood orange juice. You know, you gotta have a blood orange juice. You know, you know, you know, you know, right? You know. Of course. And, uh, not the blood part, though. No, it's not made with real blood anymore. Yeah, right. And we can have popcorn snack set. Boom, perfect. Now all we need to do is just decorate the walls, then we'd be done. Ooh, I forgot you can add gyroids. And music. I need oh, to, this that. place is like, has no music. And we can add some boomoids because they kind of look like clay. Here are all the boomoids. Wow, those are cool. Anyway, uh, ooh, one of them is kind of in the... Ah, oh, well, we just need music, really. That's all we really need right now. Lily Record Player. Right, uh, we might have to get rid of something. You know what, we can get rid of the dead body trial bite thing. Do we really need that, Clay? Um, probably not. Yeah, anyway, let's see, what song would fit Clay? K.K. Dixie, I think. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. What? I said okay. <laughs> I you didn't that didn't sound like a very enthusiastic okay though, so I just got nervous that okay. you didn't like it. You did it again! Okay. <laughs> Stop it. Anyway. Okay. okay, you said you'd stop it. Anyway, KK Dixie, we can put one of those on the wall. And where are there? There, there. Uh, where's Clay's photo? There it is. And we can have a gold outline because this place kind of has a gold aesthetic. Anyway, I think we're done with Clay's not vacation home. Tom Nook, this is what I imagine. Hmm? What can I do for you? Oh, done. One of the options is I'm quitting. <laughs> Okay, I'm ready to plan out the exterior remodel if you are. Yes, I am. Got it. Then let's have a look at the catalog together, and you can tell me what you think looks best. What? The exterior remodel that you just asked for. You can change it from day to night as well. I just, asked for, I just asked for an exterior rework? Yes. I... What?! I don't- I think you're telling a little fib. Well, watch the- watch the video back. Yes, yes. Uh... I'm looking to see if there is anything that would fit better. You know what, I do kind of like this looking. Ooh, very nice. With... no, 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 that doesn't fit. Uh... How about that? That looks nice. You know what? I think this is good. Yes, yes. This all looks excellent. I believe that's everything. What do you think? Ready to call it done? Yep, we're done. Understood. Everything's ready then. Great work. Great work indeed. I am pretty great, aren't I? Thanks again for all your hard work, Jack. You're welcome again. I know this pitch is going to go over great with clay. Okay. You've done your part. Now it's time for me to do mine. I'll work with clay so we can start. Okay. Everything should be just like we talked about by tomorrow. Be sure to come by and see how it came out. Okay. Sure, I'll do that. Cha-ching. Oh, don't cha-ching me. Right, we're at the Happy Home Paradise Island because of a reason, and I'll tell you that in a second. Hey there, don't work too hard, Kay. Island life is meant to be relaxing. Okay. Can you tell from my soothing voice? Yeah, anyway, so the thing is, 
Nat is here. So the thing is, I may or may not have accidentally been spoiled on the internet about a really big thing. And so Nat comes, and he's gonna tell me how to put bugs in the backyard. This is legitimately one of the best features in the game. I'm kind of upset that I got spoiled about it, but apparently he supposed he like he comes the day after KK comes in the thing. And the reason I'm doing this in this episode instead of the next episode is because I just don't want something to happen and him end up ending up going away. He's probably not, but I just don't want to risk it. Anyway, hello Nat. This is by the way a uh, like Flick's dad. He's he, he appeared in previous games, but he doesn't appear in this game. Hello there. By any chance, how are you from Paradise Planning? My name is Nat, and I'm in a bit of a pickle. You look like a pickle. You see, I came here to give a brief lecture on bugs at the school. The trouble is, I can't seem to find it. I'll show you the way. I don't mean to be a bother, but would you be willing to guide me to the school? Yeah, of course I will. Fantastic. Well then, let's be off. Okay, let's be off indeed. Right, just like always, I'm in a different room from him, so I can't actually see him because I poorly designed this place. Please sit down, everyone. It's time to begin my lecture on bugs. It's pronounced bugs. Not on this island. All right. Today I'd like to provide a brief lesson on the scrumptious nature of my friends and yours, bugs. Actually, okay. would someone be so kind as to tell me their favorite kind of bug? Let's see. Jack. Uh, fireflies, horn dynastid, butterflies, I don't like... Oh, it's not this answer. It's not this answer, it's not this answer, and it's not this answer. My favorite bugs are dragonflies, but I guess... We'll have to go with the second best one. We'll go with fireflies. Stupendous! Seeing fireflies dance about in the dark, their fleeting lamps all aglow, it's like a dream, isn't it? This leads me to the subject of the ideal way to care for bugs. In short, I feel it best they not be kept in cages. Yeah, this is it. That's right. I have the opinion that bugs will always be at their happiest when allowed to roam free. Yeah. On that note, I would like to request something of everyone who came to my class today. I'd like everyone to select a bug from their pockets and set it free into a vacation home's yard. Any bug at all. Yeah, this is so cool. Because if you'd like your yard to be as delectably serene as this, or this, then I think releasing a few bugs here and there is by far the best way to go about it. And I'm sure my friend Blathers would agree. <laughs> well then, that concludes. Yeah, I'm sure Blathers will agree. On bugs. I hope you enjoyed it. I don't, the only other person who came to the class was Shari, just in the background. Well, not a lot of people like bugs, it looks like. Well, I like bugs, and that's all that matters. <laughs> I can use bugs now. I go good. I can use bugs now. Bugs I catch can be set free to roam in client my client's yards. So I have a bit of a dilemma. The thing is, I want to test out these bugs, but I also want this episode to be a reasonable length. So I'm just gonna add bugs to a vacation home that I've already done. Boom, problem solved. But which one? Which one? After a long time of thinking, I've decided that a home with woodsy smells would be the perfect one because it is more of a nature-themed one. So yeah, I think that would be the perfect one to add bugs to. Right, here we are. Here we are at Stu's vacation home. You know, Angus is just standing right here and he hears that you only are caring about... How dare you call this Stu's vacation home? It's Angus and Stu's vacation home. Wait a second, I just realized something. I forgot the bugs. Uh, one second, Stu. I'll be right back. <laughs> Luckily, there is a box that lets me take out some bugs from my storage, making this easy. Right. 
So I also heard that you can only have 10 bugs per vacation home. So we need to pick these 10 uh, wisely. Hmm. How about we have a tarantula, a tarantula, a tarantula, a tarantula, a tarantula, a tarantula, and a tarantula. Nah, we don't need... I, I want to add one tarantula. And a pill bug. And, uh... There's a lot of trees. We'll add a giant stag on the tree. Uh... How about a pair of man-faced stink bugs? Uh, wait, is there water? I don't think there is. So we can't add that. Hey, my favorite! Grasshopper! Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I only have four left. Let's see. I have to choose these wisely. How about a meow, me excuse me. How about a meow, meowth? I was trying to say it in a weird way, but I couldn't do that. And a atlas moth. So now I only have two more left. Let's see, uh, hmm, which would be interesting? Two more tarantulas, no, 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 I think one, maybe there could be just one with all tarantulas, but not this one. Uh, we can have a horn dynasty, oh, uh, one second. Right, now where we were before, I think a horn dynasty would be good, and maybe a blue weevil beetle? Yeah. Anyway, let's head back to the vacation home now that I have the bergs. Or uh, Why can't I talk today? Right, here we are back at Stu's vacation home. Here we are at Stu's vacation home. Yeah, I just said that. No, I just said that. Okay, wise guy. Uh, have you smelled these smells we got going on out here? Wow, anyway, what's up? Uh, how's your home? How's my home? I don't know. I haven't asked it. Is something up? Uh, let's talk remodeling. That sounds great. You can never have too many snack drawers. Uh, leave it to me. Make it look cool, okay? Okay, let's head back to Paradise Planning Island, only to head right back here again. Oh, wait, no! We're not! We're just... Straight off doing it. Remodel plan. Okay, releasing bugs. Let's do this, okay? W see which bugs have been released. Okay, why to see which bugs have been released? Selecting a bug that has already been released will return to your pockets, okay? So, let's start off. Let's do it one at a time. Right, there goes the giant stag. And there goes the giant stag. He appeared he there. What happens if I scare him off? Will he, like, reappear? Or did I just lose the giant stag? Um. Oh, there. No, he's back there. Good. So I know if I accidentally lose them, they will come back. Anyway, next up, grasshopper. Right, where are you? Where are you, grasshopper? Oh, he's right there. See him just... Chillin'. Right. Moyoth. Next. Where could he be? Oh! Flying right next to there. We're gonna save the tarantula for last. We have to. Anyway, Pillbug. There goes Mr. Pig Pillbug. And there he is, just walking around. How cool. Right. Uh, next, let's go with Horn Dynastid. Where could he be? There he is on the tree. Blue Weevil Beetle. And where is the blue weevil beetle? Hello, blue weevil beetle. Where is he? Where could he be? Oh, the pill bug rolled into a ball because I went next to it. Uh, are you over here? Where is the blue weevil beetle? Two thousand years later. Oh, I think you can only find those on palm trees. Now that I'm thinking about it. So maybe he just can't appear. Right. You know what? If he can't appear, why waste him on this house then? Return to pockets. And well, there he is. Just peered back there. Anyway, Atlas Moth. There he is, the Atlas Moth. Goodbye, Atlas Moth, for a second, anyway. You, 
Where are you? Appeared there. You? Where could you possibly be? Appeared there. Now for the moment we've all been waiting for! It's time to release a tarantula into the yard. And there he is. Hey, buddy. How you, how you like me now? Uh... Is he gonna do anything? Or just stand there... Like I'm, uh... Well, like I'm a human. Mm -hmm. Uh... Tarantulas don't really take kindly to humans. Anyway, wait. Should I change the setting for this one tonight? Because there's a lot of nighttime bugs here. I think that looks that looks nice anyway. Anyway, uh pill pillbug, don't get too close to that tarantula and pillbug, what are you doing? You're gonna die! You sure oh. got dark fast. Yeah, it sure did. Anyway, wow, that is so cool. Oh tarantula just disappeared. Uh where did he go? It will appear again. Oh no, he's right there! Least expect it. Stu Stu it appeared next to Stu when he least expected it. I didn't expect it at all. Yeah, well, we were just talking about it. Okay, uh... Wish I would've brought a couple more bugs now that I knew there was more opportunities. Oh well, this is still really fun, and I am so happy to experiment with this in z the future. I might do one for peaches and be like a butterfly garden with all of the different types of butterflies and ladybugs and that sort of stuff, but the ideas are just going crazy in my head and i think there's no better place wait a second i just realized something i was gonna end the episode next to the tarantula but the thing is i want to see the little cutscene of them walking around with the tarantula there what's up maru oh are you done it's ready boom oh the tarantula just disappeared behind the tree yeah it's all finished you're the best oh there it is maru. It's so cool. Quick question. Do you think my place's design should still be called a home with woodsy smells? Wait a second. That is so much longer than the than you can have with the your own custom ideas. Let's see. A home with woodsy smells and tarantulas. That's never going to fit. So I like the name as it is then. If it's never gonna fit. Okay, the name stays the same and I don't gotta re remember anything. Yeah. Ooh, maybe next episode I'll do like a creepy house. Like with tarantulas. Like all over. Anyway, Pillbug by Stew's feet. And look at all of these bergs. Boom. Oh, and I see the tarantula sneakily sneaking around. Wow, what a nice view. <laughs> All this stuff to see, and that's Sometimes one of the views. Sometimes you can't see the forest for the tree. Sometimes see. you can't see the house for it. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I love that the trend. I don't want to see you! I want to see the tarantula. Oh, look, he's looking at it. There's the tarantula. It seems like the tarantula is just staying in that one place. <laughs> anyway, yeah. That is an amazing new feature. One of the new best features. Thanks one of the best so new features. Much. Anyway. Oh, I forgot about the moth. Look how cute the moth is. Just sitting there. Hey, you should take a picture. It'll look super cool because you're cool. And you coordinated the stuff. I'm not going to change the picture. picture, But I'll say yes, I'll take photos. Because then I don't have to go yeah. back. Cause... Take as many as you want. Let me know when you're done. Anyway, I just want to end with the tarantula, really. Right, buddy, it's time- Oh! This is an easy way to do this. <coughs> wait, wait, wait. Here we see a tarantula in its natural habitat. The tarantula has eight eyes and is a little creepy. Look at those fangs and eight legs. Wow, it's so cool to get a good view of it. Oh no! Stand off! No, oh, no! The tarantula's going in for it! And grasshopper- Oh no! Grasshopper, whoa, look out! There's a tarantula- Or a tarantula could just spin in circles. Okay, the bug physics are really weird in this. I gotta add some scorpions. But I don't have any scorpions to spare right now. Sadly. Anyway, 
let's end this episode next to Senior Pinch. I don't know what I'm gonna name him, but I don't care. Just whatever. Let's end it next to Mr. Tarantula. Sure, that can be his name. I don't want to for watching this episode. In the next episode, we'll be doing some more stuff. Maybe I have three tarantulas in my inventory still. So maybe I can add those to an extra spooky vacation home. But anyway, thank you for watching this episode. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye, you good goofy goofballs. The tarantula is gone. It's gone. Ah! Hey awesome viewers, thank you for watching Jack's Junction. Please like and subscribe, it would really help the channel out. Keep me in awesome. I want to see a fat tarantula somewhere. W okay, I need to find the tarantula. I need and I need to like use this fisheye filter to make it fat, right? Oh, tarantula, where are you? Where is he? Oh, can't go any further that way. Fat grasshopper. Oh, look at those legs. Anyway, uh. Where is he? Did I see him there? This is kind of spooky, honestly. Like, he could be anywhere. He could be right behind this cor- Oh, no, that's just Angus. Right, Angus, please move. What are you doing? <laughs> I don't- I can't <laughs> see what past your camera. Get your camera out uh, of my face. Uh, can you please- uh, Can you please get out of the way? Bro. Fat beetles. Fat moth. Scare away the fat moth. Go away, fat moth. <laughs> Sounds so bad. Anyway, uh, where is this dumb tarantula? Oh, oh, oh! That, okay, that honestly freaked me out. But there, he's not even a good position to. To. Okay, come on. Good position. There. Wait, no, he's behind a tree. No, Angus, what are you doing? I'm walking around my yard. What are you doing? Whoa, whoa, what guy? It just... I didn't mean to say Agus, I meant Stu, but... It's... it's, it's I don't know. I thought that was weird. Anyway, Tarantula, please get into the fisheye thing. No. There, there, there! Fat Tarantula!